Hi guys. Hope all are good during this quarantine. During this lockdown we have seen our areas split into SEPERATE zones called red, orange and green zones. Do you know what is it? Ministry of Home Affairs MHA, Government of India GOI, issued an order under the Disaster Management Act 2005 today to further extend the lockdown for a further period of two weeks beyond May 4, 2020, said a Home Ministry notification. The extension will however see some relaxations which will be regulated based on the spread of the virus in the districts, identified as red, hotspot, green and orange zones. The green zones are districts with either zero confirmed cases till date, or, no confirmed case in the last 21 days. The classification of districts as red zones will take into account the total number of active cases, doubling rate of confirmed cases, extent of testing and surveillance feedback from the districts. Those districts, which are neither defined as red nor green, shall be classified as orange zones. Red zone. These will see intensified surveillance protocols, contact tracing and 100% coverage of Arogya Setu app. Containment zones will see house-to-house -house surveillance, home, institutional quarantining of affected, and clinical management. Strict perimeter will be ensured. What is allowed, with restrictions and social distancing, movement of individuals and vehicles with a maximum of two persons besides the driver, in four-wheeler vehicles, and with no pillion rider in the case of two-wheelers. Special economic zones, export-oriented units, industrial estates and industrial townships, manufacturing units of essential goods, including drugs, pharmaceuticals, medical devices, their raw materials, manufacturing of IT hardware jute industry with staggered shifts and social distancing, and manufacturing units of packaging material, construction activities limited to in situ construction, where workers are available on site. All standalone, single, shops, neighborhood, colony, shops and shops in residential complexes, e-commerce activities only in respect of essential goods, private offices can operate with up to 33% strength. All government offices, food processing units, all agriculture activities, all plantation activities, all health services, including AYUSH, banks, non-banking finance companies, NBFCs, insurance and capital market activities, public utilities. Orange zones, allowed in addition to activities permitted in red zone, taxis and cab aggregators will be permitted with one driver and one passenger only. Inter-district movement of individuals and vehicles will be allowed for permitted activities only. Four-wheeler vehicles will have maximum two passengers besides the driver and pillion riding will be allowed on two-wheelers. Green zones, allowed all activities are permitted except opening of schools, colleges, restaurants, large gatherings and malls. Buses can operate with up to 50% seating capacity and bus depots can operate with up to 50% capacity. All goods traffic is to be permitted. No separate pass of any sort is needed for such movement. E-commerce for non-essentials and liquor sale are allowed. In all zones, people above 65 years of age, persons with comorbidities, pregnant women, and children below the age of 10 years, shall stay at home, except for meeting essential requirements and for health purposes. Outpatient departments OPDs, and medical clinics shall be permitted to operate in red, orange and green zones, with social distancing norms. Air, rail, metro, running of schools, colleges, and other educational and training, coaching institutions, hospitality services, including hotels and restaurants, places of large public gatherings, such as cinema halls, malls, gymnasiums, sports complexes etc., social, political, cultural and other kinds of gatherings, and, religious places, places of worship for public. However, movement of persons by air, rail and road is allowed for select purposes, and for purposes as permitted by the Ministry of Home Affairs. Movement of individuals, for all non-essential activities, shall remain strictly prohibited between 7 p.m. to 7 a.m.